Horford has struggled at the offensive end, was 0 for 7 in Game 5 in Boston 48 hours ago. Here's Smart. How important to see Tatum get off to a good start offensively, Doris, as Smart fires, and he knocks home the three. Drops it off, Embiid lost the handle. And Embiid comes up hobbling a little bit at the other end. He's taking his time coming back. Williams with the slam to the roll. Here's Harden. Three on the shot clock. Got to get busy. Smothered by Tatum. Got it blocked. And the shot clock expires, or did it? The bounds first. One more look at that impervious defense by Tatum. That's what I'm talking about. He is down in the stance. Let's watch after the block shot. I thought it was a shot clock violation. Celtics defense outstanding. He's plus 21. Problem is, when somebody's coming off the bench, to get them to 28 to 30 minutes, that's very tough. There's the vertical threat that we were talking about prior to the game. Williams stretching the floor vertically. And it's 15 to 3 in transition. White out to Tatum. Good help by Embiid. White fires the three and laces one. Embiid one on one against Horford. Walked him down. Missed it. And rebounded by Tatum, who has yet to register a field goal in the game. Smart pulls the three. Great decision on the spray out by Tatum. Quickly to Harris. Took it up. Good defense by Tatum. Giving it to you at both ends of the floor, Jason Tatum. Smart with the layup. And a timeout called by Doc Rivers. Smart slips the screen. Boy, he does so many things so well for the Celtics. This is a game very much within your reach. Tatum working against Harris. Got into the paint and finally gets his first field goal with about eight and a half minutes to go in the third quarter. And he called the team together and said, you guys have to understand we have enough to win a championship. And right after that, they go on an eight game win streak. And that can wax and wane based on what the circumstances. Reed working from the elbow, that's the office. A couple of fakes, missed it with the left. And out to Tatum on the move. Nothing has come easy tonight for Tatum Block. And we're going to have a foul called on the shot. Man. Harden gets back to Brown. Here's Tatum. Fires over and beat. Got it! Finally, Tatum connects from deep. His first in seven attempts. Harris on Tatum. They get the switch. Maxi on Tatum now. Little quick sit dribble, Tatum. That's two in a row. Jason Tatum, welcome to Philadelphia. He's back. Wow. To have a miserable night offensively. Missed shot after shot, frustration after frustration. A great defender in your grill, and you calmly drill a three, and against a tough closeout, back to back. Wow. Defensively is making great reads in the middle of the floor. Tatum slips out, fires the three, made two in a row, make it three. Jason Tatum, not always there when you call, but always on time. The lead is up to eight for Boston. For the longest stretch of this game, it was miserable. He's got 11 of their last 13. You trust the work. I've been here before. JT, on mm. time. And Beat switches on to him, seven on the shot clock. A sidestep three. Horford with the offensive rebound. And it's starting to feel like this one is really over now. Yeah, Doc was trying to get them to foul. Tatum with the three. That one falls. 16 points in the fourth quarter. Jason Tatum with that old refrain, you forgot about me. The two J's smoking that Philadelphia pack tonight. It's over. Wow. See you Sunday. That's yeah. what they like to say in Boston. Philadelphia could not find its offense in the last five and a half minutes. Give Boston a ton of credit for their defense. Cassidy, what's good over there? Jason, what a turnaround. I don't have to tell you that it was a struggle through the first three quarters with 16 points in that fourth quarter. How do you describe the confidence you had to trust yourself down the stretch? 
I'm one of, humbly, one of the best basketball players in the world. You know, go through struggles, go through slumps. It's a long game. And, you know, thankful I got some great teammates that held it down. Brogdon, JB, Smart, Al. And they all trust me, right? They tell me, keep taking great looks. It's going to fall. Keep impacting the game in other ways. And all that mattered was we won this game, right? Give ourselves another chance, come back home, you know, for game seven. And we saw your teammates, Al Horford, talking to guys in the huddle, Marcus Smart throughout this game. Can you just describe the resiliency of this group, specifically in that fourth quarter? Yeah, uh, they made a great run. And, uh, you know, we just talked about it in the fourth quarter. It's 12 minutes. Our season is on the line. Everybody knew what was on the line, what we had to do. And we say it all the time, find a way. Whatever that way is, it may be different any given night. Um, but we figured it out tonight. Back to Boston for Game 7. A similar script to last year's in the semis. What do you need to stress to win this series? Oh, uh, man, defense. Uh, we, we held them 86 points, which is tough. Um, but, you know, that's what we got to hang our hat on. You know, shots will fall there, figure itself out. You know, we got to defend at a high level. And it's Game 7. Uh, it doesn't get any better than that. Congrats on the win, Jason. Appreciate you. Back to you.